Hey all, it's Ryan O'Hara from Antipology. I'm here today with a quick NTOP Live. We're going to talk a little bit today about uh, heat exchangers and how we can make them uh, a little bit more useful. Specifically, we've talked quite a bit about how we can make a um, heat exchanger using a triply periodic minimal surface, often using a gyroid or a diamond type shape, uh, and specifically for the high surface area and high strength um, <clears throat> of these types of geometries. What I wanted to talk to you today was about how we can actually move away from just flat transitional geometry and we can use some of the capabilities in Antop to produce a nice seamless uh, flow field associated with this geometry. Uh, we'll discuss this in more detail now. So I really want to quickly just wanted to show you where we're going to end up at the end of this workflow. So this is gyroid structure uh, with a hollow core and you can see here we've basically closed off and capped the two fluid domains uh, of this object. I'll briefly quickly show you how we did that. So if we go up here to the this file that will be shared in the link in the description here, um, we basically start out with the hex volume. We're going to subtract a center section and we're going to use an object, in this case a uh, cylindrical disc, to basically melt or erode away um, part of the gyroid structure, and we're going to be doing that mathematically. We're going to use a series of uh, ramp inputs here, and um, we're going to use those to drive um, how we do everything here. So these are inputs, and this could be used as a compound block, which is covered in other um, areas of our NTOP labs, but, uh, and our instructional um, documentation. But along those lines, we're just going to take a Boolean subtract. In this case, we're going to subtract the outer volume um, minus the center core. We're going to use this, and we're going to use that to actually fill this um, core with, in this case, a gyroid structure. And you'll notice that this gyroid structure is set up as an input into this file. And so what you'll notice here is that, in this case, this gyroid structure uh, has two domains, an uh, A domain and a B domain or what we would call a hot and cold side. And what we want to do is we want to isolate these two domains, and we'll talk about how we can do that. Specifically, we're going to use the concept of a ramp in an advanced application, and uh, this ramp and the series of inputs here um, are, are described. And uh, so what we're going to do, if we look at this ramp field, we're actually going to uh, press F to view the, view the field viewer, and we're going to turn on this value, and then I'm going to actually rotate this plane so we can see the cross-section that I like. And then, uh, let's see here. So you'll notice that there's this ramp field. This ramp field is emanating from a fading object, and that's this fading object here. And what we've done is that we're going to use this um, field as an input into a, a shelling function. And this shelling function is just a trip where we're going to basically um, uh, uh, shell inward. And we're going to use that by using um, some field math where we're actually going to take the gyroid structure itself here. And you'll see that this is an input into the subtract here. And we're going to use the ramp field as well. as, um, And we're going to use the power or concept of fields here to manipulate our geometry. And when we do that, we're going to produce something very similar to this guy. And you'll notice if I turn my field viewer off, um, this field viewer, or this uh, the resulting geometry, is going to produce uh, this bulbous cap, but it's also going to basically melt or close off the gyroid structure so that we can have smooth flow. But we don't want this cap on here, and so we need to do one last operation, and that's a Boolean intersect. We're going to Boolean intersect with our hex volume, and then that uh, shelled ramp function there. And you can see we produce this nice uh, geometry that's going to give us nice transitions uh, between our flow fields. And the cool part is that this concept is actually applicable to other TPMS structures, in this case a diamond structure. And you can see how this pattern um, or the equation associated with a diamond is easily melted using these operations. Um, pretty cool concept, and I hope that helps uh, you in design and uh, transition of smooth flows for your heat exchangers. Have a great day, and um, we look forward to talking to you soon.